Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iOS 18.6 Beta 1. So, right now, I know there is a lot of hype for iOS 26 Betas and you guys probably are wondering right now that why Apple is even releasing or bothered about these updates. That is because half more than half of the people are running ios 18 right now and ios 18 is equally important let's just be honest and to be honest i am not a fan of ios 26 until now i just am not loving it at all let me know down in comments below how is ios 26 treating you guys if you have installed it yet let's get back to the topic of this video which is ios 18.6 beta 1 so apple just released this update and this update came at around 7 gb on my device i am coming from ios 18.5 that's why it is so big otherwise this update will probably just be around 2 3 gb at max overall it's just been few minutes that i have been using this device i have not really discovered anything new as such by now i have been trying to find new things but uh, it is as new as ios 18.5 yes 18.5 did not add anything new so yeah if you got the reference so the main thing which is new here is bug fixes yeah so boring i know right but apart from that you will get about 300 to 500 mb free if you have the base storage iphone if you have a 128 gb or 256 gb iphone then you will easily free up around one and a half gb on your device which is pretty good if you are low on storage just like me because i'm half of the time low on storage and yeah for a fact 300 to 500 mbs for a 64 gb iphone 12 i am talking about is nothing but uh, yeah whatever battery life is something which is a bit too early for me to talk about right now but uh, i will make sure to cover it up in my future videos ios 18.6 is purely based for uh, refinement and uh, just to fix all those issues that people are having on their earlier versions of ios 18.5.1 like the wi-fi bug with that wi-fi just keeps on getting disconnected 5g is showing up but it is not working at the moment that is one of the issues i have faced that issue a lot of times when it will show 5g but uh, it will actually be at 4g speeds and that is not because of cellular data i tried the same thing with my previous version ios 18.4 iphone 11 and it was working completely fine so that is an issue present on ios 18.5 which this update has resolved apart from that there is nothing new as such on this update thank you so much for watching this quick little episode i will make sure to make more videos about these and uh, if i find any new features or changes about this update i will let you know via my videos or on my twitter at the rate tech hyped peace out and have a great day everyone